Hey guys, Tomboy601, and it's update day, so uh, here we go. The King Kong vs. Godzilla content has finally arrived in the store, and today we're going to be talking all about it, showing off the commanders, the ships, the the camos, all, all that good stuff, and of course giving my thoughts and opinions on it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do comment of the day. Comment of the day goes out to someone who leaves a comment on one of our previous videos. Today's comment of the day... Was that to Brandon ABC? He says, get a gamo for your gearing. And yeah, I know. Don't worry. There, there was a bug where you couldn't make a permanent one, and I'm not one to burn camos if I can't. And guess what? The one good thing about this event is the uh, the event camos, the, the throwaway camos, the consolation prize camos. And uh, I think you're probably going to be seeing a blue tiger gearing uh, very soon because that's what the Godzilla uh, camo looks like. And I, for one am very excited of it. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about these this Titan clashing event, I guess. Um, if you're not aware, for the last, I don't know, it feels like two months Wargaming has been teasing this collaboration between King Kong, uh, between the Godzilla and Kong movie and their game. And uh, it has finally arrived. Of course, it's over in the special tab in the store. As far as what is available, there's a unique tier 5 premium for both the American and Japanese, two unique commanders consisting of Kong and Godzilla, as well as uh, crates. And within those crates, I'll go ahead and throw up uh, Wargaming, gave me 10 crates as being a CC. I'll go ahead and show them being unboxed here. As far as drop rates for those crates go, they are as follows. You have a 16% chance to get 12 Ultimate Titan camos. You have 12. You have a 16% chance to get 12 Ultimate Guardian camos. A 15% chance to get seven promotion orders. A 15% chance to get 20,000 Global XP. A 15% chance to get 75,000 Commander XP. A 7% chance of getting 15 promotion orders. A 5% chance of getting the Godzilla Commander. A 5% chance of getting Kong as a Commander. A 2% chance to get Insignia. 2% chance to get Accommodation and 1% chance to get the Heat Ray, and 1% chance to get Primal. And those are the drop rates. If you decide that those drop rates aren't good enough and you just want to spend your good hard-earned cash on getting exactly what you want, well, you can spend 20,150 uh, doubloons to get one of the ships plus commanders and uh, a couple of the accompanying camos and a couple of the loot crates. Or you can spend 28,450 doubloons to get both commanders and both ships, which those prices roughly equate out to $80 and $110 respectively. And let me tell you, I, I, I don't think I would uh, be spending my money on these. We'll go ahead and walk through the commanders now. Kong is essentially a uh, copy of Lee with his base trait and one unique skill. That base trait being Battle Axe, which uh, increases the damage of your battleships AA. As we can see on the first line, he has not not the one for Nuisance, Brawler, and the usual out, all-out anti-air. Then on the next row is where his unique skill rise, lies. He has Crisscross, Porcupine, and Tear Off the Wings. Tear Off the ring, Wings increases the damage of your battleship's AA guns and improves the turret survivability. Next uh, next he has on the next tier is on second thought or firefighter. Then the last set of skills is reaching out master mechanic and properly meticulous with the legendary skills being will to rebuild, running with scissors and fight fire with fire. Godzilla is a Japanese commander and he is essentially a reskin of Takagi with his base trait being replaced with Horrifying Gaze, which reduces spider plane reload time and increases its duration. First set of skills is going to be a good day's work, Fireball Cannoneer, and the all-out anti-air perk. Next set is going to be Crisscross and Gyrating Drill Bits. The next line is where he does have his unique skill, so you have a choice of On Second Thought, Marksmanship, and Thick Hide. Thick Hide decreases the chances of catching fire and improves the repair party consumable. And then uh, on the next, the last set of skills is reaching out XXL, emergency specialist, and properly meticulous. Finally, between the legendary skills, he has will to rebuild, far sight, and fight fire with fire. Now these commanders have had 
what I would say a controversy on the PC side of things. There's been, these commanders have been out for, I think about a week over on the PC side and they've stirred up a little bit of controversy because of their voice lines. Generally with commanders, you get unique voice lines. I will say that it appears that we have the same kind of voice line uh, situation here. As far as their unique voice lines go, well, you don't exactly get words out of King Kong or Godzilla. You get sort of roars. And uh, when issuing commands or when asking for things on the comm rows, you're going to hear your standard commander voice. And then in the background, you will hear uh, a Godzilla or Kong roar. Kong, you really can't hear very much. If that's something that matters to you, just be aware of it. Um, personally, I play this game with the sound off or very, very low. So it's not something that affects me while playing this game. But if it's something that you want or it's something that you, you need in your life, be, be warned if that controversy is one that, uh, that would turn you off from these commanders, that is something that exists in this game as well. Um, beyond that, uh, we do have the primal skin and we do have the heat ray skin. Primal is a New Mexico while the heat ray is the Fuso. And as far as the camo design, this is where my opinion comes in. Um, I hate the premium looks for these two ships. Uh, I think, I think it's, it's not befitting of the franchise they are coming from. Um, I, I am not a fan of these, of, of the premium designs on these ships at all. I think they are kind of lazy and they're just like two dimensional, uh, texture packs that they added onto the sides. Um, and I don't think they are worth the money to go out and purchase them. Even if you're a fan of the Fuso and the New Mexico and you want to be able to earn extra money in them. Like that is the argument, you know, that that's another whole argument, whether you want to talk about is should, should, uh, unique premium, should unique camos be standalone premiums or camos that just go on top of already existing ships? Because, you know, technically if you get it, you get it as a premium, then you get the extra XP earn rates and that's like a benefit for spending that money or should it just go on to the right? Like that's a whole other side conversation. I just want to talk about the art design and I'm not a hundred percent blaming the, the legends crew for it because, um, you know, they've said in the past that the art team for legends is not that large. They cannot do standalone, um, they cannot do standalone ship design uh, or standalone looks. So they kind of have to go off of what the main World of Warships gives them. And I, I just I just find that the look of these is just not that good. It really isn't. And here's the thing. Like, in universe, there I can come up with two designs that I think would look way better. Uh the primal skin, I would love if they did a Rust and Rumble esque uh, Benham design for it. Because if you watch the original Kong movie, uh, John C. Riley's character literally builds an air a boat out of a B twenty nine. Like, give me a a hobbled together look in New Mexico that looks like it was it was made from scavenged pieces. Like that's already in canon of of the game of the of the movie universe we're in, and it would look way better. As far as Fuso goes, I think I would I would prefer instead of just having the the cracks of of Godzilla's spine along the way. If they actually created all the superstructure to look like Godzilla's spine, so that it looked like Godzilla's spine was like sailing through the water, like through the water, that would be something that like references something from the character but also would make a cool premium ship design like i know it would be ridiculous looking and it would be on the level of the halloween time camos but i feel like that's what you need when you do these kinds of special events the last thing i would say for the event is i'm kind of disappointed that there's not three commanders spoiler alert if you haven't seen godzilla versus kong 
but it turns out they don't kill each other and they have to team up to kill a third big bad. I know it's never been done ever before. Whenever you sell two title characters fighting each other, Superman versus Batman, uh, when, you know, a, a third big bad comes up in the two who were previously fighting have to team up to kill the third thing. It turns out in, in the movie Mechagodzilla shows up. Uh, it probably would have been nice and pretty cool, I think, if we got a third commander of Mechagodzilla and an accompanying camo. I feel like it would probably be a German battleship commander. I know we have a ton of them. We could also, you know, go to other lines if we wanted uh, commanders. That's, that's a s small criticism that... We do. I do feel like we have already a ton of American uh, commanders. I don't knew, know if we needed another one, uh, but you know that's where we are. Um, I guess one last thing that I forgot to mention is that Godzilla and Kong do stand on the unique ships in your port. Um, the models seem fairly accurate. Rigging is not done the best. But I don't really expect that when you're running a game model and you're not doing first simu like you're not doing the first simulations. You're not doing a lot of a lot of things. So to me, they look rough, but they are they are absolutely passable. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Kong's glowing orange eyes because in the movies he doesn't have orange glowing eyes. But they need to make him match, I guess, the glass of the ship. Or, you know, just make him look a little more intense. And to play devil's advocate to all this, I do have to kind of point out, um, we are still in the COVID times. And the way software development works is it is a long stretch process. Um, I think it was Reggie fils came out. So, someone prevalent in the game industry said, this last year wasn't too bad for video games because the projects that came out were within a year of coming out and they could kind of shift and adjust and mold things to the whole process of what the last year was. The hard work had already been done. It was polishing. Well, now that it's been a year out, all of the polishing stuff is done with. It's now getting into content that was made during that time. And I think that's maybe what we're experiencing here is this is going to be the start of maybe some mixed and not as impressive results just because we are going to start seeing the long drawn out uh, impacts of the pandemic as far as a work output result is concerned. I don't know. Guys, that's the event going on right now. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Like I said, I, I think the best thing out of this event is the consolation prize camos, which is really weird and sad to say, but... The camos for the unique ships, I am not a fan of. The commanders, I don't really see um, a use for them as of yet. I will continue to dig and see if I can find some builds that I would like with their base traits or or with their unique skills. I'll, I'll see if there's anything, but on the top of my mind, there's nothing that I want to do with those, uh, with those base traits. So, you know, here, here we are. Uh, the ships are meh. The commanders are meh. The camos are good. The, the 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 consolation prize camos are good. And the drop rates are what the drop rates are in the crates. So yeah, guys, that's the Titan event. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.